welcome to my YouTube channel. Each episode, I'm gonna cover a physics topic and hopefully try and explain it in a simple and understandable way. Some episodes are just gonna be fun physics facts, but most I'm gonna try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case, I'm gonna put the key stage in the episode title. Now, today's episode is all about gravity. Gravity is the force by which a planet or another body of mass pulls objects towards its center. The force of gravity keeps all of the planets orbiting around the sun, and it also keeps all of us on the Earth's surface. Right, so imagine jumping, and then instead of landing back on the ground, you just float up into the air, up further past the clouds, up into space, and then you float around space forever. It is a pretty scary thought. But thanks to gravity, this doesn't happen to us. When we jump, gravity pulls us back towards the Earth's surface. Phew! So, here's how it works. Anything with a mass also has a gravity, but objects with more mass have more gravity. Gravity also gets weaker with distance, so objects closer together have a stronger gravitational pull. So we, humans, have gravitational pulls, but our mass is so small that it has like no effect on the planet. Earth has a gravity because of its large mass. Its huge mass results in applying a gravitational pull to our bodies and mass, and this is what gives us weight. If we lived on a planet with a larger mass, and therefore larger gravity than Earth, we would weigh more on that planet. And likewise the other way around, if we lived on a planet with a smaller mass, and therefore a smaller gravitational pull than Earth, we would weigh less on that planet. I need to find me a smaller planet. Okay, let's chat about that a bit more. Yes, please. Mass is a fundamental measure of the amount of matter in an object. It's considered an unchanging property and it is measured in kilograms. So this means wherever you are, whatever planet you live on, your mass will always be the same. Keep going. Weight, however, can change depending on the gravitational pull applied, which will then change depending on which planet you're on. Interesting. The weight of an object is measured in newtons as it's a force, and it can be calculated by multiplying mass by the gravitational acceleration. Example time! Teddy, my beautiful cat, is 2.5 kilograms in mass. So what does he weigh on Earth? The gravitational acceleration on Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared and this is a constant across our entire planet. So to get Teddy's weight on Earth, I multiply 2.5 kilograms by 9.81 meters per second squared, which means that Teddy weighs 24.53 newtons on Earth. He's so cute. Let's work out what Teddy would weigh if I sent him off to live on the moon. Cute little Teddy is off out moonwalking with his mass of 2.5 kilograms. To work out his weight on the moon, I multiply 2.5 kilograms by 1.62 meters per second squared, which means that he weighs 4.05 newtons on the moon. So I kind of touched on this earlier, but as well as gravity pulling objects onto a planet's surface, it also keeps planets in orbit. So the sun's gravity is what keeps Earth in orbit around it, keeping us at a comfortable distance so we can enjoy the sun's light and warmth. And gravity is what keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth as well. Basically, gravity is what holds our entire world and solar system together. Let's just give gravity a round of applause. We would not be here without you. Thank you for listening! I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.